Digi fans, welcome back to DigiDom, the series of videos where I take you from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use Adobe Spark Post to make some weird and wonderful words. You might have read a bit of Roald Dahl where they talk about frog scuttle and snozcumbers and phantasmagorical inventions. Well, this is your chance to be an author yourself of the most weird and wonderful word that you can think of. As always, if you're using a phone or a tablet, download the Adobe Spark apps individually, Spark Page, Spark Post and Spark Video. If you're using a laptop or a desktop, just go to spark.adobe.com. <laughs> Okay, now let's go to the tutorial where I teach you how to make weird and wonderful words using Adobe Spark Post. Okay, so let's get going. Create a project up here, press the plus, and I'm going to go for, well, you can kind of go for anything really, but I'll go for flyer just because it's there and it's quick and it's easy. And it gives you this little template here. Now, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to add in my background and I'll show you my background and then tell you why I chose it. Now, of course, you can connect to any of these kind of services here. You can also upload a photo if you want to, and it'll ask you where it is on your machine. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to free photos and I'm looking for a pineapple. You can see I've been looking for one already. And this one is pretty cool. Now I'm going to pin it to the background. I don't want it to move it freely. Let me show you what that does. That does that. I don't want that. So I'm going to go back. Add a photo, go to free photos, go to pineapple, pin it to the background. I want this to be the background of my entire project. Why am I chosen a pineapple? I hear you ask. Well, it's because my weird word is this one. Pineapple, please. Now it's asking me to autocorrect it. I don't want to. This is the one I want. Pineapple, please. And I decided that meant to cheer up a grumpy person by giving them a really delicious pineapple. And my example sentence was, my brother was upset, so I decided to pineapple please him. He felt much better after that. Cool. So I've got my word. I'm going to copy that one, ignore the autocorrect, get away from here. And then I'm going to go back to my post. Now, I'll actually call my post pineapple please by entering into the top there. And then I'll go to add text. And I think I'm going to use one of these. You can just add in your text like that, but I don't want to do that. I want to actually use one of these kind of pre-made templates here. So I'm going to use that one. And you can't really see the writing there, So, but if I double click it and then paste in my word, Pana, please, then you still can't see it. But what I can do is go to color. Now I want it to be, I want it to be yellow, but I also want to give it a kind of a background. So what I'm going to do is going to go here and I'm going to go, oh, not to shape. I'm going to go to text effects and I'm going to go to ABC outline. So it gets a little outline. Now the outline is yellow at the moment, but if I go back into color here and then select this one, for example, now I want the not, I want the second color not to be this kind of peachy one. So I'm going to click change color, select the peachy one. And I think I'm going to go for kind of like a green. Yes, that looks nice. So we're on the right track so far. I'm going to press and hold to just center that. You see that pink line? She's telling me that that is centered. So I like where that is. Happy with the size. Great stuff. Next, what am I going to do? I'm going to go in here and paste my definition. To cheer a grumpy person up by giving them a really delicious pineapple. So I'm going to add my text and this time I'm just going to add it with pressing that button press done now I've got my text in the middle there now look at the things that I can do here I can go to the shape and this time I'm looking for something like hmm, this one that one's pretty cool I like it but I don't like the colors I want to keep it to this yellow and green theme and here it is it's suggested down here so I'm going to select it but this time I think I'll shuffle it so it switches it round. Nice, that's what I like, but it's a bit too big. So rather than going into the type tool there and using the size slider, I'm just gonna grab the edges and do that. There we go. 
make sure it's centered. There was the pink line, there it is. Nice, put it right down at the bottom. Oh, I'm in trouble with this. There we go, perfect. Maybe, yeah, or maybe make it, make it a bit bigger. There we go, center it again. Where's that pink line? There it is, great. Now I've got my title, which is Pineapples, my made up word. I've got what it means, I've got the definition down here. And then the only thing left to do is an example of how you would use that in a sentence. That one's really important, don't forget that one. So I'll go to add again, I'll go to text, add your text, pop it in there, get rid of that spare line, press done. And it's giving me the same sort of shape as I had in the one below. I don't want that this time. I want it to be something different. And because this is kind of an example of how you might use it in speech, I'm going to use one of these speech bubbles. Nice. I might change the size of it. Just change the angle by using that little rotate tool there. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Maybe I might just make it slightly bigger so people can see it. Change the color. Here's the suggested colors again. Nice. So it's the same there and it's the same there. It's the same on the title. Looking good. I'm happy with this so far. A couple of little things that I'll show you, which are pretty cool. You can click the background. And with this photo, I mean, you can do things like flipping it around. That's quite cool. Quite like that. A hat being on the other side. That's nice. I'm going to keep it like that. But also, I wanted to show you the filters. And you can mess around with all sorts of things here, like colorize is quite cool. Uh, but actually, the one I think I'm going to use is multiply. So it gives it this kind of yellow glow to it, which I think is cool because it's a pineapple and they're sort of yellowy inside, aren't they? What else am I going to do? I'm going to add in an icon, look for a happy face. Which one am I going to use? Maybe this one here. It pops it in there for me. It's a bit big, I think, so I'll reduce the size. I'll bring it over here, maybe bring it a little bit further down, just so it's on top. Change the rotation ever so slightly. You can also use the arrow keys like I'm doing here. Yeah, that kind of, it's a little bit more exact sometimes. And then I'm gonna change the color, change it to one of my suggested colors. Happy days, Pina, please. And there it is. And when you want to download it, you're just going to click download here. You can choose any of these. I'll choose a JPEG because it's good for photos. Start the download. There it is on my machine. And also, if I want to share it, just click share up in the top right there. Publish it. Click the link. And then I can share that with my family, my friends, just by clicking copy. They'll click on it and it'll open up in something a little bit like this. Cool, over to you. I hope you enjoyed that, Digifans, and I'm looking forward to seeing all of your weird and wonderful words. So you're gonna have to share them with me using the hashtag Digidom or by finding me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer. Please do subscribe to these videos if you haven't done already, and where am I gonna see you next? <sighs> on the next Digidom video. Oh, <laughs>